Welcome to PCE today. I would like to show you our little laboratory viscometer AVI1. This measuring device serves to determine the viscosity of a fluid. The viscosity, the viscosity is a physical size and with this measuring device I can change the physical size into a message value. The rotation viscometer AVI1 has a measuring range from 10 200,000 megapascal a second, with an exactness of plus minus 5%. This measuring area is based on different revolutions in which rotation body is fixed. In the contents of the PCAVI1 are a level able stand, the support rod, with the corresponding tools to fit together, a cage for the rotation body, a protection cage, the rotation viscometer and four different rotation bodies in cylinder form and a user manual. The rotation body number one is the largest rotation body and is used for the lowest viscosity. It covers a measuring area of up to 1000 millipascal seconds. The rotation body two covers a bit larger measuring area of up to 5000 millipascal seconds. Rotation body 3 goes a step higher, covers a measuring area of up to 20,000 millipascal seconds. And rotation body 4, the smallest rotation body, has the highest measuring area of up to 100,000 millipascal seconds. I would like to show you now the construction of the viscometer. The supporting rod is put simply into the stand and with the nut and spanner fixed. The rod is fixed and we can now take the fiscometer and sit it onto the mount. For this we take the fiscometer in hand and fix it with the screw on the stand. The fiscometer is now fixed to the standing pole and now we have to level it with the help of the screw able feet and with the help of the spirit level. As you can see the viscometer is set level properly you can see it on the spirit level. In the next step the rotation cage is simply hooked in In the next step the chosen rotation body is screwed in. For this the shaft is held up a little and the rotation body with a turn and movement fixed. The Fiscometer PC RVI1 is a precision instrument. The torque is determined from a viscous liquid. The torque would be measured by a hairspring inside. especially when fixing the rotation body is to watch that the mechanics are not damaged. That can be prevented when turning the body and lift it up a bit. Rotation body carefully on its axis screwed on. So as ensured that the mechanics aren't damaged. And now the fiscometer is ready to measure. For the first measurement the device is connected to the mains. Now we will do a measurement. For the probe we need a vessel with a height of about 130 millimeters and 70 millimeters diameter. That would be a probe in this curve of around 500 milliliters. This probe we have prepared. We put it underneath the rotation body in the middle. The rotation body has on its rod a groove. This groove helps me when I submerge the rotation body into the probe to determine the immersion depth. Now I sink the fiscometer with the help of the immersion screw. The groove has now reached the surface of the probe. 
and the optimal immersion depth is reached. Additionally, there is a fixing screw here, which ensures that the fiscometer stays in its position. We start the measurement by easily turning the on-off switch. And the rotation body starts to measure. We wait until a constant rotation is there. The rotation body has reached a constant and we can now read the viscosity on the scale. To read more clearly the fixing switch is used. And the fiscometer is turned off. And now the result can be read. I would like to show now the controls of the fiscometer. On the right side is the on-off switch with the turning knob. On the left you set the rotation speed of the rotation body. Here for example 60 revs per minute. Or here 30 revs per minute. To get out of the measured results, the absolute measuring result, I need a constant. And with the help of the table I can find out the constant. We have here on the left four numbers that are the numbers of the rotation bodies. Here we have the rotation size. One that is the biggest with a rotation speed of 12 that gives a conversion factor of 5. I have to multiply the measured result with 5 to find the absolute viscosity. How would from the scale value the right measured result be determined? For this you must know that the scale of the fiscometer a percent scale is. I determine first the percent value. In this case 59%. By using a table I know through the rotation speed and the rotation body that the measuring area 500 megapascal seconds are. And the measured result is here exactly 59% of 500 megapascal seconds. The Fiscometer PCRVR1 is a little universal talent. It is small and compact and has a very good value for money. And is the ideal companion in laboratory for the quality control area.